So I'll kind of uh, tell this adventure as a story and as a quick story. So uh, here we are in the beginning of the of this adventure. So we are creating a course and and we have this first level or hierarchy uh, that, is, that that are sections. And and we we discover that we want to create another level on this hierarchy. So we want to create a, a kind of subsection. And at this moment, what we what we do or what the community does is okay, we create a label, we create elements inside, we indent them, and we kind of create a, <coughs> something similar to a subsection. So yeah, I, I will move to the the second part of this adventure. So this is a thing that we have we've been showing like in in a couple of so, uh, of some cases. So this part of the plan is creating this new module called uh, called mod subsection that allows us to create this activity in the course that uh, in fact is a subsection. So if we uh, go and, and enter the activity, it's a subsection. So we have a subsection. So we have a section inside the section. So that's part of the plan, and, and that's nice. Um, and it's in fact already is ready in the in this left drawer. So it's it's kind of cool. It's working fine. We can move things around. So that's cool. But um, this is not kind of what we want from the beginning. We want to in fact display the elements of of this subsection inside the course space, so we can uh, play around with the things. Uh, so then we go to the this third part of the adventure uh, and this is uh, where where we are now so um this is the thing we have before so we have this module but instead of you know printing the icon of the uh, and the name of uh, a master section in fact i'm displaying the these these elements inside um so that that's super nice uh, and and the nice thing is we can in in the course page we already can uh you know add elements we can move things around so and, and it's integrated with the also with the course index so that's fine uh we can even move elements outside the subsection we can move elements inside the subsection we can even move the subsection in uh, entirely to different place so that that's that's what what we wanted from the beginning so we can we have another level of hierarchy in, in inside our courses uh, i can uh, turn it a bit more uh, off so you can see how a student you know can see uh, uh, how the subsection is displayed and also well if you go to a section page that's another part uh, from the beginning of this project so we have this section uh, pages we also see the subsection the same as before we can even uh, use the course index to move subsection to another section from here so you can go back to the course um so it's totally reactive uh, well this this site is a bit slower than my local host but yeah here we have the subsection as before so yeah that's it uh, well you can even go to a subsection page so you only see the, those those elements inside, and, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can you know interact with the every module inside. So yeah, the, uh, this is where we are now. So so this is how the activity report uh, looks like in Model four point four. So uh, now for four point nine, as we are going to integrate the subsection uh, to create more a more structured course so we need to add a subsection to this to this report and thanks to sabina that she prepared a very nice uh, prototype we also improved the look and feel of this activity report so this is now the new look and feel of the activity report now we also have the subsections if users create subsections they can see the whole structure of the course uh, we also remove the the background of the table and the hover state because there was nothing to click on. So we also added the, the hidden badge instead of using only colors or the dim class to, to differentiate the hidden sections and activities uh, from the visible ones. 
so this is a new look and feel and we're gonna uh, continue improving the the reports the user activity report and the logs report uh, but the main thing and the main change of this issue is that uh, we added the report to the subsistent list because it was not a subsistent uh, yet so we added to the subsystem because we created a class that all the reports can can share or extend uh, to create the the structure the course structure because now with the subsession it makes everything a bit more complicated so we create a class to to share that structure and then each report can add uh, all the information they need uh, but it's gonna be easier so we move everything to mustaches and plates and everything based on the work uh, the workshop that uh, Sara commented uh, from Ferran that it was nice and yeah that's that's the main difference that we're gonna have that class with the course structure for all the reports to share